Hello, this is Lisa with Happy Stamp, and today we are going to be um, making this arrow fold card with the artful, artfully layered stamp set. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is um, the second project, or actually it's the third project, in my um, birthday class that I had yesterday. So if you're interested, I have PDFs for all of the cards that we created. And they are all here. So this is, first was the card wallet. Then we did the flowering tulips, um, artfully layered. Um, and then we'll do your biggest fan. And then the pansy birthday. And they are all fun folds. Um, with one 3D project. This will be $10 over on my blog. I'll leave a link down below um, if you're interested. And um, that just gets you the PDF with all the instructions and diagrams and everything. Corrections <laughs> will be corrected. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're making this arrow fold card today with the artfully layered combo or um, bundle. So if this is in the uh, occasions catalog right now, if you are interested in this, you could get, uh, you will get 10% off. Then I'm also using the um, rectangle, stitch rectangles. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Let's do the fold on the card first. So this is the template. This is the card base. It is um, four and a quarter by 11. We're gonna score at five and a half. And then we're also going to do these three score lines on either side of the card base. And that is uh, Calypso Coral. So we will go ahead and do that. All right, so it is easier to do this on the trimmer. I'm sure that there is a way to do it on the scoreboard, but mm, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So let's first, before we do that, let's go ahead and do some marks. All right, so down at the bottom, at the four and a quarter inch side, we want to measure at two and an eighth. And you do wanna put this all the way down at, not up here, you wanna make sure that it's all the way down at the bottom of the page. And then we are going to go up, so we're gonna put this at four, right here. And we're gonna go up to two. And then since this is at four right here, we're gonna, go all the way up to this zero right here. So it's actually two and four from the bottom, okay? So we will do that on the other side. This side, we'll just put the zero down there and we will at two and four. All right. All right, now we'll take our trimmer. And first we're going to score this at five and a half. Make sure you use your scoring blade and not your cutting blade. All right, now you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna put it back in your trimmer. You're gonna take this score line that we just made and you're gonna put that in the groove. Then you're going to take this two and an eighth inch mark and you're gonna put that in the middle of the groove. So you're gonna have this in the groove up here and this in the groove down here and we're gonna score. Then we're gonna take the four inch mark and put that in the middle of the groove and the two and eight at the end of, at the bottom again and we're gonna put that in the groove and score. We're gonna take the two inch mark, put that in the groove and the two and an eighth down at the bottom and put that in the groove and score. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we have this five and a half that we made, swing over to the two and an eighth, 
and try and make sure that it's in the middle of the groove and score. And then the four and two and an eighth. And score. And then the two and two and an eight. And score. All right. Now I'm just going to take um, my white eraser here and I am just going to erase my pencil marks. It's easier now than when you get it together. All right, so first let's fold it in half. Then we are going to score or I mean fold on the score lines. You can open that up now. And then this one and then this one. Just like that. So you have your arrow. All right, so this is going to go in. So this is going to be a mountain fold. The next one is going to be, no, this one's going to be, yeah, that's going to be a mountain. This is going to be a valley. And then this is going to be another mountain. Just like that. And then that. is going to make, did I do that right? This has got to go in here. Just like that. But for some reason, that doesn't look right. It's because I do it wrong every time, okay. So just do it so that it looks correct, because this is the way that you want to have it. Like this, and, well, heaven's sakes, I do this every single time. I thought I had it right. Okay, so like this, and then like this. So like this. that and like that Woo. so hard just like that and it's not hard <laughs> it's easy you just got to figure out which way you want the the mountains and the valleys to go sure that that gets gets tucked in there just like that okay that's why you want to make sure that your score lines are in the middle of your track all right so now we're going to open this up and we are going to put some glue in there and you want to use glue because of course your tear and tape is not going to be big enough in some of these, or it's going to be too big in some of these places. So just like that. And then we'll put this right here, just like that, All right? And we'll put a little glue right here to keep this closed. All right, and then I'm gonna take a block and I'm just going to leave that there for a minute to let it uh, dry. All right, then we have another template. 
And these are going to be cut lines. So this piece measures four by five and a quarter. And this is going to be for your inside piece and for your top piece. And please do not let my mistakes detour you from making this card because it is very simple indeed. And oh, that was kind of dirty. I'm going to have to... Um, wash that off. Goodness. Or not wash it off. I'm going to have to erase it off. Okay, so these ones. We're going to measure again at two because these are four. So we're going to put a tick line down here at two. And we're also going to put one down here at two. All right. And then we're going to take our paper trimmer again. And what we're going to do is this time we're going to take our corner right here and put that in the middle of the groove and put our tick line in the middle of the groove down at two. And taking the darker of the blade, and we're going to slice that off. We need these, so don't get rid of them. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So that is for the front of the card, and these two are for the inside of the card. Now we're going to take and do the same thing. Just make sure that we're in the middle of the groove here. These you can save for scrap. All right. Okay. And there we have it. All right. So let's get our white eraser here. And we will erase the tick marks papers. Okay, we're going to take that and this we're going to use some glue. All right, and that's going to go in the middle of your triangle here. Now these two are going to go over here, so you're going to see the inside of the paper as well. And that's going to go right like this. This is on the other side. Okay, and then this is going to go in the middle. But first, before we put that on there, I want to take my hair pizzazz and my stamp set. And I'm using this big, pretty leaf right here. And here is the sentiment that I'm using. So I'm going to take my pear pizzazz, put that on a block, and I think I stamped this off, if I'm not mistaken. I stamped it off once. There we go. Put that up in the corner. Put that out of the way. And now this, I'm going to take some of my snail. I like to use snail on the inside layers of my cards. Not snail. Stamp and seal. 
because sometimes I have noticed over time, if you use the glue on the, the white or the very vanilla, um, you can see it over time. You can see the glue lines. So that's why I always use um, uh, the seal on the inside of my cards. All right, so that goes in there just like that. So that's the front of our card. Now I'm going to take some memento and a scrap of very vanilla. I use very vanilla on this. Um, it it's not really very vanilla, but it's not really white either. So I I didn't like it with the white. So that's why I used the very vanilla. So we will put this on here. I'm using my tuxedo memento black and that's gonna go on here okay then with my stitched rectangles I'm gonna use the second biggest on these ones right here and then for basic black, I already cut that one out. I have this one cut out with basic black. Kind of looks all crumply. Okay. So I'm going to bring out my mini here. And I have a one and a two. I'm going to get my sentiment and my die and try and line that up sorry for the shaking This stuff out of the way. Oops. Okay, and here is my sentiment. These are stitched, so they kind of you gotta carefully push them out because you don't want to um, rip it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my glue, and that is going to go. like this. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right here. And put that right here. Just like that. And then we'll take a couple of dimensionals and we'll put a couple of dimensionals right in the right over the black and very vanilla. Another extra layer of adhesion. And then this is going to go on here. So I'm kind of um, eyeballing this piece and this piece right here to see that they're kind of the same. And maybe straight. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to take our piece of leaf that I did here, and that's just going to go up here like that. So I'm just going to put, and I should have used my, well, not really, I sh because this is going to be hanging off. So let's just put a few. dots of glue on this side over here and then just put that down we can always add some where we need to 
All right, there you go. Okay, so there you go. And then I'm taking some of the faux sea glass shapes and my take your pick tool. And I'm going to put, I'm just gonna put one over here. And one over here. Oh, I got a second one. Let's make sure we put that one back. We don't want to waste it. And then one of the clear ones over here. So there you have your arrow fold card. So there's that one. And here's this one. I'll get at it. I'll get the fold after a minute. <laughs> I, we did it five times yesterday, six times yesterday, and I think we did it wrong every single time. That's usually what happens, right? But we finally got it, so we we are all good. All right, so here is your card number two, project number three of my birthday uh, class. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. All of the info will be over on my blog, so go ahead and head over there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.